I first started collecting at 15 years old, I was really interested in English furniture. I didn't start collecting Dutch furniture or paintings until maybe 10 or 15 years later when I started collecting. And I realized that we were settled by the Dutch in America. We English lived here as well. We were under the British rule. And the English furniture and the Dutch furniture seemed to blend because they were both made out of oak. But I just love Dutch furniture. I think, I often wonder if the people back then maybe could have owned some of these pieces. And now I own them. A lot of people that come visit here, I mean, they see some of the period furniture they have, and they have some wonderful things. But does, has anybody really seen what a period Dutch room at that time really could have looked like? Somebody of great wealth, and somebody of great wealth would have had furniture like this. Um, it, it's hard to believe that what I have survived over 300 years and the condition it's in. And I think, you know, people, they learn from, from what I have. You see, you think they never could find anywhere else, which I think is pretty cool. I think they should take away that now they have a better understanding how, how the people did live and, you know, what kind of artwork they had hanging on their walls. Not many could afford a lot of artwork, but um, just kind of going home with a better understanding that Wow, this is the way the Dutch really could have lived. It's fascinating, you know. We had some great fireplace equipment from Holland from the 1600s. The cupboard behind me, 1600s. I mean, how these things ended up here, I'll never know. You know, and when I started collecting, I said to myself, as an investment, which really is an investment, we should collect, you're never going to sell anything anyway. But when I always bought something, it had to be in mint condition. No restoration, no broken legs, no cracks. I wouldn't have it. But I enjoy it, I really do. I mean, to see people walk in and smile and say, how, how can anybody own such a collection? But you can, you know, just educate yourself. But, I don't know, I love everything I've collected all my life. And there's always something tomorrow to look forward to, always. I just love the hunt, you know, just never stops.